Creations brought to you by Inspired Creations H-O-M. This guy right here is the most influential speaker from the House of M. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four action figures I want to show you today. And I'm going to be opening two of two of them, not not four. That would be all four. I'm, I would be crazy if I opened all four. I have two figures that I'm going to open for you today. And you'll see exactly why I pretty much have to open them. Um, but let's get right to it. Four action figures. They're all different. And one of them is from the vault. Let's get going. Okay, the first figure I want to show you is this guy right here. Now, I really tried not to get into this line of figures because you've seen everything I've opened and I am just into way too much and everything I'm into is very cool. But nonetheless, these WWE figures uh, from Mattel have literally struck a chord for me and it's because of this right here. They did a series of figures based on Masters of the Universe and they're calling it Masters of the WW Universe, I guess. I don't even care because not only does this play to my heartstrings and show these figures to be in the Masters of the Universe vintage style, but this one I I am going insane over because it's also my favorite WWE wrestler. It's Faker John Cena. Now, John Cena, I love. He's one of my favorite WWE Universe superstars. Um, but he is taking a page out of the Masters of the Universe book, and they made this figure in the image of Faker, the evil robot of the Skull King. So Faker was a blue version of He-Man from Masters of the Universe. So this is Faker John Cena. It's it, it, Don't look at his hands, though. They're all messed up in the box. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I saw him in the wild, so I didn't have to pay anything extra for this guy. Um, when I say in the wild, you know, that means he's in retail. I'm going to move the camera up here so you can see the uh, back of the box a little bit better there. There you go. Um, but there he is. Uh, there's the Skull King, I guess, and that's uh, supposed to be Triple H, I suppose. Um, but very cool. Vintage art. Um, well, the art is actually imitating the vintage art from Masters of the Universe as well. Um, same thing with the uh, the back of the box, too, which is amazing that they were able to do that. Look at that. You got Rey Mysterio, the heroic high flyer. He's imitating Stratos from uh, Masters of the Universe. Macho Man Randy Savage, he's imitating Man at Arms from Masters of the Universe. And, of course, you got Faker John Cena imitating Faker. And then you got Roman Reigns, the heroic big dog. Woo, 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 woo. Um, I don't know who he's imitating. Uh, he's got a big fist, so maybe Fisto. Um, of course, these guys, they they put into the realm of Master of the Universe. Big Dog just does his own thing. That eh, figures. Um, but there you got the removable chest. And just like the vintage Faker uh, Master of the Universe toy, when you removed his power chest, you saw a little sticker on there with robotics. And, of course, Faker John Cena has the same thing. Um, but very, very cool. It's imitated out of the, out of, uh, the toy style as well. But um, fantastic. This is Faker John Cena, and I found him in the wild. Very lucky. The only one on the rack. Uh, no other figures there. Just this one. He's mine now. Okay, from the vault. And, of course, the vault just means my personal stash of figures that I've already bought in, um, and have stored away. This is from the Marvel Legends line. That guy right there is Tony Stark. They also call him the Invincible Iron Man. So again, from the Marvel Legends line, this is a vintage figure. Um, I say vintage, it's older, but from Series 1, um, Iron Man. And this is when the figure started getting very articulated and uh, collector-based. It comes with a little Stark Tower over here as well. Um, the removable mask, which is fantastic. But there he is, Tony Stark as Iron Man. It also comes with a comic book, a 32-page comic book in there for you to, to read and have all kinds of fun and just be... Um, amazed with comic books and hopefully get you to read more because all these figures came with uh, comic books too. You got Captain America over there, the Hulk, there's the Iron Man we're showing you right now, and of course Toad. This guy was a very hot commodity uh, when he first came out because he's literally one of the first Marvel Legends that did come out. Uh, this figure is from 2002, at least uh, based on the back of the box here. So this is an 18-year-old figure. Who's out there? Um, that's younger than this figure. 
or older than this figure, I guess. But um, that that comment was really stupid. But what did I want? Okay, hang on. What did I want to say? I wanted to say, um, I think this figure is older than some of my viewers. That's what I wanted to say. Good God. Um, but there he is, Iron Man in all of his glory. This package is in mint condition as well. Of course, the figure is mint as well, too, because uh, he's been stored away. So this is Iron Man from the Marvel Legends Series 1. Okay, one of the last two figures I'm going to show you today. Uh, they are both from DC Primal Age. This is Green Lantern. You notice a little bit of a theme with these figures, and the reason why I bought them is because this one, too, is also based off of, loosely, um, the Masters of the Universe uh, vintage toy line. It's a 5.5 action figure. A five and a half inch action figure, I should say. This is uh, primal, uh, primal age, which is pretty much, pretty much taking the DC characters, putting them into a primal age, the Masters of the Universe era, um, and they come with accessories and power chests that are reminiscent of Masters of the Universe as well. But look at the box shape that this came to me. I, it, I mean, it, it was from Amazon. It was supposed to be a new item, but this is just in terrible condition not what i'm used to having so guess what we're gonna open this bad boy hands up hands up honeys all around in your territory yes i'm in your town okay well uh, there he is this is green lantern he comes with a necklace removable look at his body it looks all weird when it's when it's off of them there but it's removable but it has i guess his little um the bank of energy, his uh, his green arrow, green arrow. Good God, listen to me. His uh, green lantern um, on around his neck, which is also the source of his uh, energy, because he has the ring right there. Let's see how close I can get. Of course, it's old. Oh, look at that. Nice shot, Charlie. Charlie Huckle doing the camera work over here. Thanks, man. Um, there's his ring that uh, manifests probably his armor here. It, it converts energy uh, in the color of green, of course, into solid objects. Anything he can think of, he can um, uh, produce it with that power ring. And the power comes from the energy bank here, so he's got to keep that bank full. Um, pretty decent articulation uh, based on the figure type that he's modeled after. Can't bend the elbow joints, but you can move his arms up and down. His body looks really weird. It looks really weird. Again, especially if you, if he looks, if you have him like this. It just, it just looks awkward. I don't know. But he's still fun. Uh, so this, of course, is removable as well. Um, it looks like it would glow in the dark, but it doesn't. It don't even try, I don't think. Um, and then his move, his head moves uh, left and right, obviously, there. Twist a little. Do the twist, 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 twist. I will never do this with my toys again. Twist, twist. I'm going to do it again. Twist, twist. Okay. Um, I'm going to put him down here. Oh, he's so short. Um, and show you that the weapons he comes with. He comes with a... I guess I should just open this one, too! Oh, never mind. It's already open. I guess just pour it out. All right, so he's got a, a mace. Pretty cool. A shield with the Green Lantern logo on there. Beautiful shot, Charlie Huckle. And a power axe. Fantastic. So this is Green Lantern, the DC Primal Age and let's get to look at the other one fantastic figure fun okay the next figure is also from dc primal age and this one is of aquaman and again the reason i bought it is because it looks like the masters of the universe vintage line a little bit it's very loosely based off of that as well um <laughs> much articulation as well but this guy's pretty solid and again the box condition look at this this is how it came to me it was new off Amazon. So very ugly looking, <laughs> very ugly looking box. Uh, before we open him up, uh, let's show you the back of the box. I didn't do that with Green uh, uh, Lantern, I apologize. So these guys are also available. I might get them from Amazon and uh, if they come in the same shape, I'll probably be opening them too. But they got Batman, they have the Scarecrow, uh, Mr. Freeze looks really cool, King Shark, oh man, the Joker, and Wonder Woman also in these uh, very cool styles. Again, look at that. That's terrible. Oh, ugly. But it does give me an excuse to open this guy. So, Aquaman, let's get you free. Okay, 
Well, there he is. There's Aquaman, King Arthur. Um, I threw the box down. I was supposed to show you. Oh, I showed you the back right. Never mind. Um, there he is. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is playing off the very famous Peter David comic book art of Aquaman when he gets his hand cut off and he replaces it with uh, something very similar to this. Only it was like water-based. Really kind of weird. Anyway, they, this time he looks like he has a hook made out of crustacean bone. I made those words up. Well, I didn't make the words up, but I made the, I put them together probably unnecessarily. Um, but there's Aquaman. Uh, this is, uh, he's got like a squid for an, a shoulder armor, I guess. A um, little loincloth there because Master of the Universe is all about loincloths. He, of course, is wearing a crown because he is king of the oceans. Uh, I think that's what he is. Uh, he's got a cool little beard here, so he can move his head uh, left and right. Not much because of his long golden locks of hair there. Um, very cool. This is uh, textured, uh, like a fishnet kind of thing. Very cool. Can you, look at it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Good shot. Charlie Huckle. Oh, let's look at my thumb. Uh, very cool. Look at that. Oh, wow. I should do more close-ups on these things. <laughs> um, but there he is. Uh, let's take a look at his weapons that he comes with. It's only one, and of course, it is of his trident. Look at that. Let's see. Did I get a good angle? That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Let's see if I can get him to hold this one, because that's uh, total... Uh, Aquaman has to have his trident. Um, yeah, it fits right in there. Look at it. Well, it's kind of. Hold it, Arthur. Hold it for the cat. Hold it. Ah, jeez. Let's see. I'm going to hide my hand. Look, look, he's holding it. Look, hide my hand. Hide my thumb. Hide my hand. Ah, forget it. There he goes. Look, he's holding it. <laughs> but there's King Arthur, Aquaman himself, with trident. Very, very cool. Let's get a look of him and green lantern together there they are you want me to get the other ones let me know um, i'll probably have to open them though because these guys are free and of course their colleagues have to be the same thing let me know if you like these guys and if you do let me know if you want me to get the other ones and i will and i'll open them here on a future episode of revelations and that is my show today and let me know what you think i do appreciate you watching it as well um, I kind of like opening figures on the show for you because uh, I can always play with them later too, which is flipping awesome for me. Um, but no, I appreciate you watching the show. Um, time to plug my other stuff because I have a ton of other content and programs that you would love to view. So take a look at this. So if you're watching this right now, that means you're on YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, Icebox Cast. If you subscribe to my channel, you are going to see uh this show called revelations where i show off awesome toys looking just like this and more um you are also going to get the programs uh alerted to you if you click that little bell um alerted to you like fractured games and fractured games is me playing video games currently on the nintendo switch and having all kinds of fun for you on there uh, mine's a little different it's first of all it's family friendly all of my stuff is family friendly um, but I'm not one of those annoying gamers. I, yeah, I, I, it's me. I mean, if you think I'm annoying, way to get to know me. No, but if you think I'm annoying, um, well, then that's your cup of tea. But I, I don't think I am. So, other than that, other than that, sorry. Um, but Fractured Games is me playing Nintendo uh, games on the Nintendo Switch. Check it out. I have a few episodes up already from there. I have lots of fun with that. Um, my other program that just came out too, fairly new, um, and it, there's like actually a contest going on with that one too, so you got to check it out. Episode 2 is where the contest is launched. Um, but the third uh, program I have on YouTube is called Beating for All. And Beating for All centers around me doing perler bead art. If you don't know what perler beads are, hey, Google it. Um, or don't ask Siri, but um, check out the show, Beating for All, and you'll see exactly what perler beads are, uh, is, are. Pearl of Beads are, yeah. Um, and you can see the fun that we have with that. And again, check out episode two that features Pearl art based on ninjas. And you will see a contest, my first ever contest that I'm doing on uh, at Inspired Creations HOM. Um, check it out and you'll have a chance to win. Um, well, I'm not going to tell you what you have the chance to win because you got to watch the show. And you got to watch the show to see what you got to do to enter. So anyway, take advantage of that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, please. Leave comments, questions on the YouTube posts, um, but you can also leave me comments and questions at my email, which is iceboxcast at gmail.com. I will read all questions and comments on the air on my podcast. What? I do podcasts? Yes, I do. Um, my podcasts uh, can be heard on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Podcasts, 
iHeartRadio, um, Spotify, um, all kinds of places. So um, I'll read them out loud on my podcast show called Icebox. And on there, I talk about whatever I want. Check it out. It's a fun show. And I have another podcast called Comic Complex. And there I talk about strictly comic book related things. So take a look at those. Uh, don't look at them, but have a listen to those. And tell me what you think of those as well. Um, best place to follow me, Facebook. Uh, you can find me on Facebook as Inspired Creations H-O-M. And there I post all of the links to these YouTube shows. I post all the links to my podcasts that you can listen to. And I also post artwork. Uh, that I do that is inspired by all kinds of medium or pop culture, we'll say. I don't know why I said medium. Stupid. I'm a stupid host. Um, but I do vector art, and it's used for Cricut applications. So the Cricut applications are things like you can use the artwork to do tumblers, T-shirts, hoodies, um, all kinds of fun stuff, too. So check that out. I posted all there. Uh, one more look at Iron Man here, too, from the vault. Love this guy. Very cool. Oh, I love these toys. Um, but that's pretty much it. So check me out on all those things. All this content is family friendly. Take a look at that. Let me know what you think. And uh, this is going to be a lot of fun going forward. And I want to show you more toys. And let's have some more fun together. <laughs> um, thank you very much. And remember, it's never too late to create.